This art lesson is sponsored by Paramount Pictures for the movie Pause of Fury. Hey Hadley, who are we going to draw today? Jimbo from the new movie Pause of Fury. Yeah, I love Jimbo. He's the master samurai. He's also a cat and he's very cranky. Mm -hmm. Parents, the new movie Pause of Fury is in theaters July 15th. All right, you ready to draw Jimbo? Yes. All right, <laughs> yeah, if you're going to follow along, you need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a marker. You also need some paper and something to color with. All right, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first start by drawing his nose right in the middle of our paper, but towards the top. And he has a really small cat nose. So we're going to draw an upside down U, just like that. Really small. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to draw little nostrils. We can draw one on the left and also on the right. And then let's draw his eyes. And we're going to start right next to his nose to draw the left eye. We're going to draw a line that comes straight across. So this eye is a little bit more closed than the other eye. Then we're going to come down for the bottom of the eye, come across, and then back up. <laughs> and then let's draw his right eye. We're going to draw it a little more open. We're going to start right here. And we're going to draw a curve that comes up like this and then back down. And we're going to turn it into a leaf shape. We're going to draw the bottom of his eye curving across and connecting. Okay, now let's draw his pupils. We're going to draw a little oval right here inside of the right eye. And I'm drawing it really close to the top, but a little space. We're going to color his eyes blue around the pupil. And then we can do that same size pupil over here on the left eye. All right, it's already starting to look like him. It's a little grumpy. Okay, now let's draw his eyebrows. And he has really big eyebrows. We're going to start here and draw a zigzag line that comes over his eye. And then right at the end, we're going to curve down. Yeah. And then let's draw another zigzag line to connect it into the top of his eye and color in that shape. So his whole eyebrow is black. Now let's draw his other eyebrow. We're going to do the same thing. We'll start over his right eye and we're going to draw a zigzag line that goes over the top and we're going to curve kind of down and then right at the end we're going to curve out a little further. He's got longer pieces of eyebrows sticking <laughs> out to the side. And then we're going to draw another zigzag line right here connecting back into his eye and then we can color in that shape also. Now let's draw his smile. We're going to draw it right here. We're going to draw a curve that comes down and then we're going to go across underneath his nose and then right at the end we're going to curve up just a little right at the very end. We don't want to make his smile too big because he, he was grumpy most of the movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then let's draw, we could draw a little corner for each of his little cheek lines. Now let's draw his head or the shape of his head. We'll start next to his eye and we're going to draw his cheek line coming out and curving. And then we're going to draw a little bit more coming down further. Then we're going to imagine it going behind his eyebrows and we're going to curve up over his eyes, come across like this. And then right at the end, we're going to curve down and stop about in the same spot as the left side. <laughs> I love <laughs> it. doesn't really look like a cat yet. We need to add cat ears. Let's do it. Let's add an upside down V right here. We're going to come up and then we're going to curve back down. Let's also draw that same upside down V shape inside of the ear. And then we can draw his other ear. This is facing the other direction. So we're going to draw it coming up and down. He also has some hair sticking right up in between his ears. Let's draw a diagonal line coming up a little over and back down. Then we're going to draw a curve coming out of the top and then curving down. And the same thing on the other side, curve up and back down. Let's add more hair. I'm going to draw another curve that kind of matches on both sides. <laughs> can make color it in and make it a little thicker. And then also maybe a couple pieces that come up higher. 
Yes, now it's looking like Jimbo. Yeah. <laughs> what are we missing on his face though? His whiskers. Yeah, he has a uh, scrunched up whiskers. They look all bent messy. and messy. So we're gonna draw a curve that comes out and bumpy. And then we're gonna draw another one right below that one coming out. And then we're gonna draw, I'm gonna draw one more. So he has three. And then let's add three on this side too. I'm gonna draw it coming out of the cheek, some bumps and a curl down, and then another one right below it. And one more sticking out. All right, we did it. Now we're ready to draw the rest of his body and also his arms. Let's start by drawing a diagonal line coming in from his neck. And then we're gonna draw it coming across and connecting to the other side. And we're gonna go past his head just a little bit He's gonna have his sword up like he's ready to swing it. Then let's draw the end of his sleeve curving down further. And let's draw the bottom of his sleeve coming back into his body and we'll stop right here where the little bump is. Then we can curve up for his shoulder. Let's add an extra detail on the end of his sleeve and the letter C for his paw hanging onto the sword. Oh, let's add two little paw lines too. <laughs> <laughs> we could also draw another paw on top of this one. And let's draw two little paw lines on the other side. Now let's draw the other sleeve curving down and then back up. Oh, I forgot. Let's draw the end of the sword right here at the bottom. We drew the sleeve through it, but that's okay. And I think it kind of looks like a cat. So if we want, we could add little ears at the bottom of the handle. <laughs> <laughs> and then inside of the sleeve, let's draw another curve coming down. And then let's draw the bottom of the sleeve connecting to the other side. And also a curve that matches coming up. Then let's draw a straight line for his arm coming back into his head. What should we draw next? The rest of his sword. Yeah, let's do it. Let's draw a straight line right above his paw and another one above that one to match. And then we can connect both sides together. Then let's draw the blade of the sword. We're going to start here on the top of the handle and we're going to come up like this at the very top and we'll end just above his hair. Then let's draw another line right next to it that matches, but this one we're going to stop short so it won't come up as high. We'll stop right about there. And then at the very top, we can connect those with a diagonal line. This sword is actually a lot longer, but I drew it short. That's okay. <laughs> We're practicing, right? Yeah. And then we can draw a little line right here. Yeah, it should be maybe up here. It's a really <laughs> long samurai sword. Okay, now let's draw the rest of his body. We're going to start here and draw his back. We're going to curve down like this. Then we can also draw a line right here for his collar. Let's draw his belly. We're going to imagine it coming through his arm like this. And then we're going to draw another curve that stops in the same spot over here. And then let's draw a curve to connect these two lines together. We can draw a circle over here for the knot. I think he had a rope for a belt. Yeah. <laughs> then we're going to draw the other side of the rope curving this way. I turn my paper. Sometimes that's easier to draw. I'm going to match the top line. And then right here at the end, let's draw a curve to connect up to the top. Okay, now let's draw the end of the rope coming out of the knot. So we'll draw one curve, short one down at the bottom, and then connect back to the knot. Let's repeat that for one more piece of rope sticking out. We did it. Oh, let's also add a little line here for his clothes. 
And then let's draw the bottom of his clothes. We're gonna draw another curve coming down like this, and we'll draw another one on this side. And then let's draw another curve to connect these together. And we can also draw another, I'm gonna turn my paper again. We're gonna draw another curve for the end of his clothes. Yeah, what did he missing? His feet. Yeah, and his legs. Let's draw his little pants sticking out from the bottom. We can draw two lines and then connect them together. Let's draw another leg over here. Two lines and connect them together. <laughs> now let's draw his, his feet sticking out of the bottom. So we'll draw the inside of his legs on both sides. So this one's over here too. And then let's draw a shorter line for his leg. And then we'll curve around for the front of his paw or his foot and then draw a line to connect to his heel. Let's add two toe lines also. And then repeat that same step on this side. Short line and then curve around for the paw the bottom of the foot and two lines for the toes. Hadley, we did it! We finished drawing Jimbo, but we're not completely done. We still need to color him. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video and take extra time to color your drawings. You ready to fast forward? Mm hmm Give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring Jimbo. He looks so much better colored in. Yeah, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. We use gray for his face and his paws. We also use a light blue and a dark blue for his clothes. You also made your sword a lot taller. Yeah, I had to. <laughs> it was too short. <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun drawing Jimbo. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. I'm sure they turned out awesome. The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. Parents, remember the new movie Positive Fury is in theaters July 15th. We also want to say thank you to Paramount Pictures for sponsoring this video, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.